Oh well, I get this question a lot. The short answer is yes, why not? Now, let's address this question into a more detailed manner. This channel must never be considered a substitute for advice provided by a doctor. If you used to be an active athlete, an active woman before becoming a mom, then you do not have to stop working out. Unfortunately, uh, the most common split is either not moving at all, and in here I'm not including um, if your OB is telling you it's too risky for your pregnancy to do any physical activity at all, but unfortunately I met trainers who didn't work out when they were uh, pregnant, so during their pregnancy, although they used to uh, train, so they used to train uh, pregnant women. Their reasoning was uh, that they have plenty of time to get rid of the fat, all the kgs accumulated throughout the pregnancy, but unfortunately, I don't know, something was wrong in there, in their approach. Is it just me? So the split is either them, either those who are just overreacting because they are afraid of accumulating too many kgs, they are just exaggerating with the workout during the pregnancy. So unfortunately they would put too much stress onto their body on top of the hormonal changes, mainly throughout the first trimester. And some get even to the point where they can't hold the pregnancy anymore, unfortunately. So they're just losing it. You don't want that, mommy. Trust me, you don't want that. So what I can tell you, mommy, you have to be active. This will gonna help you to go throughout the pregnancy so much easier, and so much quicker and so much more enjoyable. Let's start with the first trimester. As the body recognizes something inside you, it needs more blood pump, uh, more oxygen, more uh, muscle flexibility and joint mobility. All the responsible organs will gonna adapt their functionality. Due to the hormonal changes, being active will also gonna help you to avoid a swollen and achy body, as well as helping you to have a nice and good vibe altogether. For the first trimester, you don't want to put any pressure onto the core area, mainly like onto the abs. So you don't want any direct impact onto your abs. So the little embryo have enough space to develop into something that later on you're gonna call your son or your daughter. But you definitely can use the weights for your back, shoulders, arms areas, as well as for the glutes and legs. The second trimester normally will gonna be better. So if you were experiencing into the uh, first trimester nausea or you couldn't eat much, uh, this should change a bit and get a bit back to normal. Now, I'm not saying this has to happen, but let's say 90% of us women, we do that. You'll feel so much better, so much more empowered, so much stronger during this trimester. But pay attention, do not exaggerate when it comes to weight. Don't put too many plates on that barbell, mommy. And there comes the third trimester, mommy, uh, when most likely you will gonna gain the most weight as the little one is preparing for our world. So now it's developing the most. Postural changes will gonna happen as the baby's weight will gonna pull your whole posture, your whole center of gravity forward, overarching your back. So some uh, lower back pain as well will gonna be felt in there. Also the cramps are quite common. Here you can do the most exercises you've done throughout the second trimester, but um, let's drop a bit the weight, so a bit less weight and also less intense. As for the whole pregnancy, mommy, there is no way or reason why you would isolate your rectus abdominis, okay? So now the priority, the focus is on to the little one. Trust me, you're gonna have plenty of time to get back your six packs 
Yeah, but not now. Not now because you don't want to endanger anyone or developing diastasis recti. If you did develop that though, make sure you are checking up this video about diastasis recti and how you can sort that out. Oh, forgot to mention how important is to have strong obliques, mommy. When it comes to the expulsion, so when you're giving birth, if you give birth naturally, which I'm such a huge supporter of, uh, but also throughout the whole pregnancy. This will gonna help you to hold the little one without uh, feeling too much of the pain for the core area. So weighted workouts throughout the pregnancy, definitely it is doable, mommy. As long as you have a healthy pregnancy and you used to work out uh, prior to your pregnancy with weight, but make sure you're not isolating your abs, yeah? And you're listening to your body. Don't overreact either. There is no competition involved during your pregnancy. Remember, you are training during your pregnancy for a toned body, for the happiness hormone release, as well as for the overall well-being, and that should be your priority right now. Make sure you are checking out uh, the playlist uh, linked in here, guys, uh, because you have workouts for the first, second and third trimester, home version, as well as weighted uh, workouts, okay?